So main advantage of NFS is distributing the file systems, right? The advantage of distributing the file system is uh, the pur main purpose behind that is we can keep the file system in one central place. That is the main advantage. So all of information is in one place. So that it will be very easy for us to back up, restore, uh, and also administer. We have to administer the file systems, right? We have to administer the file systems and applications properly, right? So if they are in a central place, it's very easy to administer. That is the reason we put everything in one central place. So what are the things we are putting in, the, in a central location in NFS? Uh, home directories. In the NFS, we are putting our data. Home directory means data, right? Data. Then also number two? Applications. So we are sh we are centralizing data and applications in this. So when we talked about uh, uh, networking in our first class, I said if a computer is standalone, we didn't have so many uh, advantages, and at the same time we didn't have so many we didn't we didn't have to take so many precautions. And also, we didn't have to configure a lot of other services because it's standalone. But when it becomes uh, a networked computer, then we have to share the file system in one place. We don't want people to just put all over the place their files, right? So that management will become difficult, right? And also, what about other things? I, you are talking about only data and applications. What about the configurations file? Configuration files. Are you going to put them all over the place in the network? How you are going to centralize them? No? Of course, right? You, are you going to put an EDC host file in each and every computer? So when you are updating, you have to update in each and every computer. Do you want to do that? EDC password, EDC uh, ethers. So all those things have to be updated in each computer. You don't want it. Same thing. Same way you don't want to distribute data, I mean you don't want to copy data in all the computers. You want to copy data in one server and distribute to others. The so same way work, same way configuration files are also, also, right? So configuration files are in which directory? It is ETC. In ETC. So I want all the configuration files in ETC, right, to be located in one central place so that everybody accessing information related to the contents of that particular, to those particular files, will get from one server or a few servers, okay? So we will talk about that in our next chapter, name services. So the configuration files of uh, other, uh, the other computers are empty or yeah. they get populated through? It's not empty, but we are not going to use them. The configuration used. files of other computers, we are not going to use them as our primary source for information. If this is not available, if we like, we can use it. But then right? the information is not updated or, or does it update the information within that file also? Yeah, in that case, we have to do that if the, if the server is down, then we have to allow, right? There may be limitations, okay. but we can either decide, okay, we don't want that at all, or we'll use it in case the survey is done. I mean, the name survey is done. Okay? So the information, centralizing the information, right? That's what we want to do. Centralize info in one place. That is our concern. We can be strictly talking about ETC files or maybe email addresses of people, all the people, you know, right? Or maybe uh, some, other, some, other, some other things also. It doesn't have to be strictly ETC, right? 
uh, when EDC is concerned, to centralize that, we use two types of name services. One is called NIS, other one is NIS Plus. What's the full form of this? Network Information Service. So it will have all the information related to network in one place. So if you want to get information about the network, you know where to go. That's the purpose of that. It's this, right? Apart from EDC files, some other information like email addresses, company, uh, uh, like location of people in the company, where they are located, those type of information also saved in one place. Uh, for that, we can use something like LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. If you want to centralize company information such as email addresses, location of managers, location of other staff, what is their phone number, right, or company, some uh, policies, I can put it in a centralized place. For that I can use LDAP. Uh, the beauty of LDAP is it is compatible with any operating system. It's not platform specific, compatible with any platform, right. Email addresses. You said something else in the end? What did you say? I forgot. Then again? You said something else also in the end. Like something like only like this? Uh, it's compatible with any operating system. Oh, yeah. It's not platform specific. Okay, thanks. It works with Unix, it works with uh, uh, Linux, works with uh, Microsoft Windows, all of them. one particular reason to centralize the ETC host file. Tell me what, why we have to centralize ETC host file. Because uh, it has configuration information, so about, that's the important about, about the network. About the <coughs> about, uh, hosts yeah. and at host. network address. Yeah, ETC host has information about <coughs> the host and their network address, IP address. Yeah, right? IP. I have to centralize that. Okay. <coughs> Say for example, This file is updated. This file is updated. Okay, so when EDC host is updated, it can it, it will have information about all the uh, computer, all the computers in your <coughs> local network. Okay, not outside your network. Yeah, Does he have information about uh, a, a computer in uh, Mississauga no. or a domain in some other place? No. So this has information about the local network. But for some reason, I have to centralize that. Apart from centralizing your configuration files for that purpose, for some other purpose also, I have to centralize that. Tell me for what other purpose I have to centralize that. It is a host. No. Why? Yeah, but that is for local network we have, right? So why we have wanted to have a name service for ETC host? One reason is I don't want to have ETC host spread all over my computers in the network. For that there is already a solution called NIS or NAS Plus. So we already have a solution. So why we have to find another solution for ETC host 
to centralize this for the whole world. I have to centralize this for the whole world, not for my network only. So, so why, why? Because I want to go to internet. Okay, if I say uh, go to uwinpro.com, how does the system go to uwinpro.com? How? Because it goes and get a service, DNS service. So for that, there is another service called DNS. So we have DNS, okay, and we have we have many name services here now, right? We have LDAP for one particular purpose. We have NIS or NIS, NIS Plus, and DNS. Okay. The purpose of DNS is what? Is to catch the information no. other any area. I mean. To translate the uh, host name to IP address, IP address to host name. Any one of them. So that is called name resolution. So in simple way you have to say this is for name resolution. Then what is the person of purpose of LDAP centralizing your company information? Okay. Then what is the purpose of uh, NIS centralizing your configuration files? Okay. So there is a difference between DNS and this. DNS is talking about only ETC hosts. Oh. Name resolution, that's it. For the whole world. Or for your company only. Right? Whenever you are configuring your router, uh, you will give a public, uh, you have a public address in your, in your router. But from the provider, you have a public IP address. Right? The public IP address will go to a, a DNS server, which is provided by the, uh, if it is Rogers or Bell, they have a, a DNS uh, server. So we will connect to their DNS server and then go to the world, right? For us, the default gateway is our uh, router. Then our router is connected to Rogers or Bell. Then it goes there, right, to their DNS server. Then that is that can direct direct me to any any uh, servers in the world, right? That's how it works. Just hosts. That's all. Or IP nodes, right? But out of these, all these three, only these two, only LDAP and the DNS goes to the internet. That is internet compatible. It, we can get information from the internet only using these two, right? But uh, this is local. This is also local, right? What is the beauty of NIS and NIS plus compared to DNS? What is the advantage of these two compared to DNS? more information about Yeah, I can centralize all the information. Not only ETC host. What are the information I can centralize here? In ETC, in, in, in this. What are the information? What are the files under the ETC? Tell me. What are the files? Host files. Host then? And, uh, IP address. Yeah, ethers. Ethers then? Host name. Yeah, host, host name. These are the files in ETC. Then what else? What are the files you need? Services. Services. Net mask. Login information. No, net mask. Password, right? Talking about password. password. Right. Over okay, then. What else? What are the information in this? RPC. RPC. Then maps. Auto master. Auto. Direct, auto home, right? All those, right? And also there, is, there are more things, ETC, user, ATTR, ETC, ETC security. Uh, there are three files, auth, ATTR, and then exec, ATTR, 